Hi guys, Gareth from Silent Push. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a basic passive DNS lookup, filter the results, pivot through some records using a reverse lookup, and view the raw data. So we're going to start by navigating to Explore DNS Data, Explore Indicator DNS Data. We're going to use Microsoft.com as an example domain, and we're going to use the Any Query, which looks up all DNS records for your stated domain, aside from TXT and SOA records. If you're after either of those, then you need to run those two queries individually. As you can see, there's a range of both forward and reverse lookups, but we're just going to use the any. So look at passive DNS. The results of indicated DNS queries are populated on the explore screen, which acts as the primary output screen for community edition queries and lookups. So you can see we've got 82 results here, ranging from name servers to PTR records, A's, quad A's, and there's an MX record. You can do with these with this data what you like. You can arrange it however you like, first scene, last scene. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to filter by name server. So let's say, for example, you had you had a name server you that you wanted to understand what other domains use the same name server. So we can pick any name server, then we're going to perform a reverse lookup which will show all the domains using the same name server. So let's pick ns1-39.0-dns.com. One click, reverse name server lookup, lookup passive DNS. 537 further domains that use the same name server, all with risk scores and some additional data as well based on the record type, which is name server hash and TTL. So what can you do with the data? You can export it by clicking the download button. You can view the raw data if you like. So here's answer one, you've got the metadata there and answer one from azure.com is there. And you can copy the raw data to the clipboard to do with it as you will. That's it for now. Thanks very much. Take care.